voters agreed that uh, one half of this tax was to go away after 10 years. The citizens believed elected representatives were capable of spending their hard-earned tax dollars in a way that would fulfill the needs of the fire department and then be sustainable on the reduced level of taxation after 2014. <coughs> the city is telling us that they failed in that mission. Is there any reason to believe that they will do any better with our tax dollars after the next 21 years? Uh, the language is a bit deceptive. This fire tax is a bit deceptive. The state only allows a quarter of percent sales tax for fire departments only. Hence the name. Since money is fungible, the 2.4 million brought in every tax every year frees up money in the general fund to be spent as the council sees fit. With the permanent portion, the general fund still gets an additional 1.2 million per year. So we're not cutting that. That is going to go on forever. Uh, 21 years, really? If the city is incapable of allowing is incapable of aligning spending with this level of taxation, then be honest about it. 21 years is a permanent tax, with this generation spending money earned by the next. There is no facility for an adjustment of the, if the economy comes back roaring and the tax money is filling the coffers. Uh, would they propose a tax cut then? Uh, maybe in the 17th year? Uh, don't count on it. Government will spend what you give it, and ask for more. Uh, there was opposition to this tax. There were voices against this type of tax leading up to its passage. Uh, the Chamber of Commerce president voiced out that a tax increase was essential to continue city services. So the compromise was the sunset of half of the tax. So the Chamber was against it before they were for it. Although I don't know that they've made a, a, a say in either way. Where is the limited and fiscally responsible government? Cape Girardeau is a conservative geographical area. Uh, candidates run as, and we elect, fiscal conservatives. Is there really a difference between the two major parties when it comes to wanting more and bigger government? Government officials are constantly trying to increase the size and scope of their budgets at the expense of taxpayers' wallets. This proposition is a nonpartisan issue. Voters said no to three recent tax increases. Will government get the message? Elected representatives work for you. Missourians and Cape Girardeau County citizens have voted down three major tax initiatives. Get the message. The increase to the county property tax is clear indication that the message has not been received. Slow economic times call for a tax cut. Median wages have dropped since 2009. The economy is limping along. Inflation has hit all necessities of life. The citizen needs to keep more of their hard-earned money, not less. Over our population doesn't warrant ever-increasing budgets. The population of Cape has grown by less than 3,000 people over the same 10-year period. Yet, our budgets have continued to increase every year, even with this yearly sales tax of $2.4 million. With the permanent portion of the tax, Cape Girardeau government still gets $1.2 million per year. Until we see a great influx of citizens in this area, I think it's time to slow down with the spending. It's a self-perpetuating tax. The more the government spends on capital projects, the more tax money needed for maintenance. Just look around town and think about all the millions needed to maintain the multi-million dollar projects. We do not need any more for the city to take care of, just do what has already been promised. The government always wants more. <coughs> it is the nature of government to grow. Federal, state, county, and city governments will spend everything you allow them to spend. It is up to the citizen to use common sense and say, enough. Does anyone in government stand by what they say? Is it any wonder that people have such a low opinion of government? I wanted to speak on the restaurant, restaurant tax fund. Uh, this restaurant tax was continued for an added source of revenue. If we have such pressing public safety needs, why didn't we use the funds from the restaurant tax to 
take care of them. That probably would have been a would have been wiser than putting in a water slide. I don't know if it sustains itself. Uh, the casino tax was supposed to fill in the gaps of our budget. This tax brings in large sums of tax money. This was sold as another way to reduce the taxation burden on citizens. But property taxes have gone up, even though property values have gone down. Every ballot has had a tax question on it. Everybody supports the fire and police departments. The citizens support them both financially and with our prayers for safety. However, the public safety budget has grown by 50% from 2004 to 2014, while the population has grown by less than 10%. This opposition to extending this tax has nothing to do with the people who go out there every day and risk their lives for our safety. It has everything to do with how our hard-earned tax dollars are spent by our elected representatives. This is the 10-year budget total snapshot. And uh, I guess the 54% uh, reduction in our budget was from 13 to 14, where it went from 130 to 71. But I would like for you to look from 2011 to 2012, where it went from 60 to 130. So that's kind of disingenuous there. The whole, summary, the whole budget from 2004 to 2014 went up 55%. The public safety budget that's in that summary budget went up 49%. The fire department is in that public safety department, the safety budget plus in the summary budget, and it went up 65%. So we're spending, we are spending money on our fire department and our public safety. We care about our firefighters and our policemen. So this is a chance to lower our taxes. When is the last time you had an opportunity to lower your taxes and still support the firefighters. Grab it and vote no on this proposition. <laughs>